India is a country of youngsters and India is a country which wants to use technology for making what Prime Minister Narendra Modi says a new India. The Defence Research and Development Organisation has started a new initiative which is to have laboratories which are populated with scientists who are under 35 years of age. This is a dream project of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and I have with me one such stellar example, Sunny Manchanda. Sunny is a computer scientist and he has been appointed as the director of the lab involved with artificial intelligence. Uh, Sunny, what is this initiative on young scientists uh, populating independent labs? Uh, so this is one of the uh, uh, new initiatives of the uh, Defence R&D organisation. Uh, we have five laboratories in uh, the area of artificial intelligence, uh, quantum computing, uh, we have one in cognitive technologies, uh, one in asymmetric technologies and one in smart materials. And the unique thing about these laboratories are that all the people, all the scientists in these laboratories are under the age of 35. In fact, majority of them happen to be under the age of 30 per chance. And, and so what is the key mandate? Why do we need young people? A lot of people say wisdom comes after a certain maturity. But why do we need young people and young scientist laboratories? Uh, I think we need both the uh, wisdom of the age and the exuberance of the youth. DRDO has a lot of wisdom of the age. Uh, we are the exuberance part of DRDO. So we are the, the, the young DRDO as the Prime Minister says us. So in the young DRDO, what is the expectation by the Prime Minister? You had a personal meeting with the Prime Minister uh, where you met and all the five lab directors, the youngsters met. You are probably the youngest of the lot. Uh, what is the expectation? Uh, so the unique thing about the young scientist labs is that uh, we would like to take the country forward. We would like uh, India to be strong. Uh, we would like the, uh, the advanced technologies that we are working on. We would like to push the state of the art. And uh, the unique thing about these laboratories is that a lot of mandate and a lot of responsibilities of what we want to do is left on to us. As the Prime Minister said, right, that youngsters are not risk averse. That they are happy to take risk. And uh, a lot of our projects are uh, things which probably have never been tried uh, the world over. Uh, if we succeed, we would be, you know, uh, one, of, one of the first players in this area and that's what keeps us excited. So what is artificial intelligence? You and I carry natural intelligence in our grey matter. Yep. To, to a lay person, how would you explain what is artificial intelligence? Uh, I would say um, artificial intelligence is to make machines as smart as humans are. Uh, humans naturally has got a lot of intuitive knowledge. We could look around at the world and understand the world. We could, uh, we could understand emotions, we could understand, uh, recognize people, uh, we could communicate. So how do we make machines think? How do we make machines uh, look at pictures and understand what's going on? For machines, this is just some data, just some uh, bits and bytes, right? Uh, so how, how do we inject this knowledge which comes over millions of years of evolution? Hum humans have unique a level of intelligence. How do we translate that back to machines? That, that's the endeavor of the area. But do you think ever machines can become as intelligent as humans? Uh, we, we are a long way off, but it, it, it's very promising. Um, we have taken a lot of strides in the last... Uh, the area started off formally in 1954, and um, we look at now machines actually surpass uh, human capabilities in some of the areas. Yeah, but that is in simulations games chess uh, but 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 what about emotions what the humans are sometimes sly slippery they can say something while they mean something else those are very difficult things for machines to do certainly there, there, there are a lot of nuances and that's why we are excited because there's a lot of work to be done in the area uh, things like detecting objects uh, detecting people uh, the machines right now can do as good as humans can. But the versatility of humans, the machine don't come uh, anywhere close to it. And that's why we're excited because there's a lot of work to do in the area. And, and, and in India, how can artificial intelligence benefit the large Indian population? 
I, I think that there's a huge scope. Uh, AI would be the game changer. Uh, whether we talk of climate change, whether we talk of agriculture, uh, whether we talk of finance, whether we talk of banking, uh, the new India or the common people, uh, the AI technology would have a big role to play, in fact, in every domain. How would you attract people younger than you into your own laboratory? Uh, I, I would I, I would say it, um, the proof of pudding lies in the eating. So uh, we, we, would, we would welcome people. So we are a very open laboratory. Um, we collaborate um, the world over. We have a big mandate to do what we like. Uh, we have the backing of DRDO. We have the uh, Prime Minister encouraging us. Uh, we have the resources and the, and the people and the academia supporting us. So we are in this unique proposition, right, where we have the resources and also the freedom to do what we want, which is very rare uh, the world over. So a lot rests on your shoulders on how you carry forward to the making of new India, where artificial intelligence, quantum computing, smart materials, all of these which are futuristic technologies, one only heard of these things coming from DARPA in America, but you are at the cutting edge now, given the mandate. So, how sure are you that you will be able to help India? We understand that we have a huge responsibility and that's what keeps us awake at night. Uh, we, we would, I would say, I don't know whether we'll succeed or not, but I know that we'll put in our everything, whatever we can. And of course, we have... Uh, the wisdom of and, and the support of uh, the, the RD chairman, the prime minister. Uh, so we are, we are very hopeful, uh, we are very optimistic uh, that we would succeed. And I think we're not sure about it and that's what keeps us exciting. All of these areas are cutting edge and no one is sure of how the future will shape up. Uh, but we would like to play our part in, in shaping the future. Yeah, if you knew what the future is, then you would not need a laboratory like this. Is that correct? Certainly. That, that's what keeps us excited, right? Because the game is pretty open. So artificial intelligence, the future of India? I, I would say it would be a big building block in, in um, contributing to the success and the, uh, the innovation and, and the inclusiveness of the new India. So that was Dr. S Sunny Manchanda, the head of the Defense Research and Development Organization's Young Scientist Laboratory with a focus on artificial intelligence, telling us Artificial intelligence is going to play a big role in the future, in the making of new India. And this is one of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream project. If it succeeds, you can see a lot of AI probably in times to come. In Bangalore, Palav Bagla.